how are you imagining that uh, this type of automation may evolve over time? Put the visionary hat on for a moment. Then Bella will ask you the same question, and then we're coming for you. Yeah, I think you know the near-term trends will accelerate in terms of the growth of automation and AI within organizations. That's clear. Um, I think there's a lot of interesting kind of future scenarios that we're, we're thinking about and working on. Some of those building on kind of what Bella talked about, which is, you know, this idea today, you know, most really important business automations still are, you know, orchestrated and defined programmatically. And there's good reason for that because, you know, if you're talking about dealing with kind of critical business information, customer information, you can't afford uh, variability, just errors happening at some frequency, which is the nature of, you know, AI. It's not 100% all the time. And so there's still this sort of programmatic orchestration of processes for those critical ones. Um, but I think, you know, you look to the future and you look to the possibilities with AI and as technologies and frameworks like agentic systems improve, you can see that at some point um, you'll be able to sort of ask an assistant as a, you know, non-developer, as a business user, to do something for you, and it will it will go off and do that for you, and you know you'll have checks and balances in there built in, um, but that sort of on demand future of automation, I think, is really interesting because one of the big bottlenecks for an organization is you know how do I build and maintain all these automations over time? So it's um, almost creating new automation in a more exactly spontaneous, on natural the fly. Way. Yeah, yeah. Bella, we'll, how do you see the future? And then we'll see who's got some hot questions out there in the audience. Yeah, so I think first, like, we see most of the opportunity for automation with large enterprise. And then enterprise processes, they are just complex and dynamic. So one of the most promising trend I see for AI is the increasing capability for understanding process and also really problem solving in a way. So as an example, like we're building the really the intelligent system that can just quickly learn from all the different ways you do things, understand your goal and intent, and can adapt on the fly. So one example is um, you can basically have our AI agent look at, uh, teach AI agent how you complete a task in Outlook, as an example. And then you can start to execute and run this automation in Gmail. So in a way, it's like a human. As long as a human knows how to navigate even different applications, the AI should be smart enough to do that. So we're continuing seeing all this really promising kind of um, new capabilities with AI. Um, I think that I know I said I think I said a lot. We're already over time. But one last point I really want to call Please. out is um, AI is like won't be perfect in all the different fields. So for example, it's still not as good with task planning, not as good with contact under, context understanding in some ways. So uh, we do believe in having human in the loop. So you can best balance the strengths of AI and also the strengths of human. Uh, one interesting fact, so you see the Orbi logo is actually a circle orbit. The idea is that human and machine AI really working together. And so that's why in the system, a Orbi product, we very intentionally build that human in the loop layer to dynamically find when AI is good at something or when AI is not good at. And when it's not sure, it will make sure to loop in the human to check and help the AI continue to learn and improve. So we'll be like, um, we think that's really the way to scale this AI. <laughs> so part of the future, as you're saying, Peter, is developing automation on the fly. And Bella, what you're saying is the AI will kind of learn by how you might behave and then just pick that up automatically is what I'm hearing. So a little bit about the past, present, and future for um, automation with AI.